Oh, look at that shit! We have Sans, Paris, and Toriel sleeping in the chair. That kind of reminds me of uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. With the uh, wrinkly Kong sitting in her chair, falling asleep and all that. And she's sitting in the same place that Flau is. I like that um, I don't show this in Let's Play, but uh, you know, this title screen changes depending on how far you're in the game. So I like that. In the springtime, let's uh, continue! Okay, stop it! I'm not gonna start the episode the same way as before. Greetings everybody and welcome back to more Echo Flowers squeaking. And um, hey, and now before any of you fuck nuggets accuses me of being the most stupid guy in the world, uh, you would be correct, but still. Um, I got confused in the last part with uh, Papyrus talking to Undyne. I just thought it was so confusing the way Undyne moved and then the text appeared and that answer could just as well been, you know, what Undyne would say. Um, I know that may, may not make sense, but it just in the heat of the commentary that I, I got confused. So I'm sorry about that. So Undyne didn't speak at all. I also thought that maybe Papyrus is like talking to himself as if you know, that night was something that Papyrus wants to be, That like that's like his dream, to be that mighty knight. And so he's like talking to himself, um, and he is like talking back, like, did you do this? And did you, did you complete it? Uh, but no. Um, it was stupid, I know, but, you know, heat of the commentary, try it yourself, it's not easy. You get confused and you get stupid. Like when I called the death of vegetable a fruit, I mean, I know I'm not that fucking stupid. I, it's just that making commentary is not easy. And bleh. When you say the first thing that comes in your mind, and especially when English isn't your native language. So, enough defending myself. There's no point on the YouTubes. I welcome you all back, and we're gonna play some more Undertale and have lots of fun. And continue, and uh, I just don't really want to continue. Uh, there are more stuff I want to say, but we're not gonna spend the first half of the episode talking about it. So let's continue! Hello, Sans! I can't do your voice, but I don't give a shit. I'm thinking about getting... <sighs> no, I'm thinking about getting the telescope. Into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope. Wow. But who's taking the money? But since I know you, you can use it for free. How, how's about it? Use this telescope. Sure. The last time we got a clue, so... Is this something Sans did? Like a prank? It sure is. It must be a prank. I don't see anything here! It's not the every game that you... Every game that you get to control... Around... Almost round... Thing. Around the screen. Um... Right? Oh! I knew it! It was a fucking prank! Friendship is magic did the same thing. Uh, you aren't satisfied? No worry. I'll give you a full refund. Oh! But I didn't pay anything. It's an odd looking telescope. Oh, you. I hate you more and more. I'm just kidding. Um, anything we need the box for? Nope. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to. A guy I don't know the name of. No, I think it's Willy Wanker. He just wrote a comment on one of my Resident Evil parts. And he was very, very nice. Really nice comment, so... Yeah, thank you very much, Willy, if you're watching this. He new subscriber and all that. And uh, he's currently watching my Resident Evil GameCube series. Watching all of the parts. Liking the parts as well. And comments. It's like, man, I love you. What's this? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Oh fuck. Oh, I wish I'd done that. I uh, would've done it sooner. That's a reference. I I know that nobody on the YouTube is going to get that, but um, it's one of the Annihilator songs that they sing like that. Can you touch it? Can you hold it? Can if there are any Annihilator fans out there, yay. I mean, this part is by, by far the worst one so far. 
Looks looks like Pac-Man cousins, the lily pads. Another door? Oh, hello, man. How nice to see you again. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Oh, fortunately, I found a, a thought of a solution. Punch cards. What? Every time you buy a nice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free nice cream. They are sure to get the customers to come back. Sure. Frozen treat. 25. Wait, weren't they 20 before? I'm not sure. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. You got an ice cream. Now let's see. What does this one say? Uh, okay, we need to eat it. To see. Right, right. Another box. That's kind of weird. Oh, one card. Yeah, yes. Well, there's no point to take it right now. I guess we can take it later. Uh, I'm gonna guess. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Oh? The ancient glyphs. I like the music here, it's so soothing. Now when they said like swamp, no they didn't, they didn't say swamp, they said like marshland or something? I don't remember. But uh, this was not what I expected, and that makes me happy. This is cool. I mean we only have like two colors. So yeah, m maybe like one more color would have been would have made this place a little bit more interesting to the eyes, but uh, I guess it's okay. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? No. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. I mean, these people, don't they see the echo flowers, you know, when they talk? So they should know that it's going to repeat what they said. Small, small. It's been some time. And we can just spare them right away. Look at that. But we are very close to get a level, right? Yes, so we might as well start killing some of them. As Flowey said, do you really think they're families? Nope. It's a pair of ballet, ballet shoes. Will you take them? It, yes. Oh, no gimmick. There was no gimmick to that. Or catch. A weapon attack? What? Okay, so there are weapons! Holy shit. Uh, seven attack. Uh, yeah. That's better than what we have. We got the ballet shoes. I think that's all here. Right? Seems like it. Yeah, kind of an interesting place. Ring! Hello! This is Papyrus! Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... murdery. <laughs> but I bet you... you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her... what you told me you were war wearing. A bandana. Because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. <laughs> cookie. This way, you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Uh, and that's what I kind of wanted to talk about in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> As I've said to Derpy, uh, she's going to be like, yeah, I know this already, but... Fuck! Oran, fuck you! Whoa, shit, I didn't know that. Education, hobby, talent. Stop it, I don't need your shit. Now I'm really pissed! I like that new combat system with the, the new weapons and stuff. Or maybe that's the level thing. Yeah, maybe the more love you have, the more attacks you get, because I'm level 3. That's where I get 3 of them. Interesting. B 
52 XP? Your love increases. That makes no sense. Wow, we're gonna get a level very soon. Let's do it again. Okay, I, I'm not, I don't give a shit if this is not entertaining. I need to say what I'm feeling here. Now... This game is not just any game for me. I have grown to love this game more than just, oh, this game is awesome, I like playing it. No, I genuinely love this game and its world and what it does. It feels so genuine. It feels like this game was made from love. It wasn't made by some big faceless corporation just to earn money. No, this game was made from the bottom of one's heart. I, I, I just feel like that. It just, it's not just a game for me, it's just incredible. And also, you know, the characters, the pirates and all that, it's just... They're more than just characters to me. I know this might be weird, but I don't give a shit. I think that... They're so wonderful, and... I'm afraid. I'm literally afraid of moving on in this game. I, I just... I'm so afraid of what will happen, you know? With... Uh, with papyrus and stuff, and I, I've heard that other people who made a pacifist run, kind of like I'm doing, they cried so much at the end, but I almost cried now in the beginning. And even Derpy, you know, remarked that, so... <sighs> and I've never ever cried or got, you know, tears in a commentary before, so I'm, you know, like, I'm a little bit, hmm... That's not very creamsy of me, but you know. Mm hmm. You hear a passion conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, so these flowers, can they move about? Or. The people, the conversation, did they move? while talking about it, and then when they passed here, that's when they said it, and then they just moved on, and the flower didn't hear more than that. I mean, that's the only thing that makes some kind of sense. Yeah. I'm eating off the rate in this session, and technically it is off the rate. It's uh, 1 p.m. <laughs> it just makes no sense. I, I like that on the box it says um, mint chocolate thins. But when I read it fastly, and that the text is kind of small, I read it as uh, mint chocolate things. I'm like, oh, yeah. They're sure things, but... Yeah, let's see. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh, they're building up tension! How about a big no? I can't! I can't! Don't make me do this! Okay, for the first time in the series, I'm gonna grind. <laughs> but it's not going to be much of a grind. I'm just gonna get one encounter, um, kill one enemy, get more level, because some serious shit is about to happen. So, away with you! Oh shit. Oh, they are stronger than before. I see. Yep. Nice! That was a perfect hit. A perfect hit. Alright, that was good. And with that, our love increases. Now we have 36 health. Alright, from now on, let's not kill anything. We need to be nice. Uh, how much does this one heal? 22. No, that's way too much. We don't have anything that heals a little bit. Maybe the monster candy? Yeah, that's uh, kind of perfect. Eat it! Nice. Alright, let's do this. <clears throat> Didn't get my hint the first time, did you? Oh, it follows me. Look at that. Kind of creepy, but okay. And why am I going so slowly? I can't move anymore. Oh, Final Fantasy IV ripoff? No? Okay, definitely not. Oh, look at that! Hey there. Noticed you were... Here. I'm Onya-san! 
on here, son, you here? <sighs> Let's go away. Oh, what's this? Don't do this to me! What's with that face? Oh, you're so happy! I need to fight you, don't I? Or maybe it's like, um, I'm not allowed to leave. You're visiting a waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You'll love it, huh? Yeah, me too! It's my big favorite! After you! Oh wait, there's something down there. You see that? It's like one pixel of island. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey! That's okay! It beats moving to the city! And living in a crowded aquarium! <laughs> that face. <laughs> like all my friends did. <laughs> it's building up to something! It's so fucking obvious! And the aquarium's full... Anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay though, you hear? Under is gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the city, you hear? That voice is so annoying. Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall... That must be the most annoying part in the series so far. Oh shit, that kind of scared me, wow. Whoo -hoo. I'm not good with, you know... Okay, so it starts all the way to the left and it's going over here very fast now, right? Alright, so that's what it is. It spawns to the left and it's going all the way over here. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh. Shiren hides in the corner but somehow encounters you anyway. Now oh, that... Actually, quite astonishing. Uh, let's uh, hum like we just did with the L. Oh, that face! You hum a funky tune. Shiren follows your melody. See, re, see, re, see, me, see, me. Oh! That's cool. Seems much more comfortable singing along. Nice. We get some gold. The northern room hides a great treasure. Well, fuck it then. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Uh huh. Who was writing these? There is only one exception, the soul of a special species of monsters called a boss monster. <laughs> Great. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments, a human could absorb this soul. But this has never happened. And uh, now it never will. What do you mean, now it never will? Has something happened? Will I be the one? Most likely not. X quit? The fuck? A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Would you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Hmm. There's a piano here. It's gone now. No, but play it. Um. Nice. So how did that melody go? Um, the Shiren. Uh, it was like... No? Maybe the music in the background? There's no music here! Shit! I want to meet that Shiren again, I think that's the name. Or maybe... Oh, I don't remember. I should pay attention to it. Huh, I could play some Zelda songs here. Wait, can I? No, I can't. Hmm. No. Never mind. 
So it's down the corridor. Echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Are fine. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so it, this eighth note that I'm playing, I just can't find the right combination. I'm not that super good with musical theory. I should though, but I'm not. A great treasure lies up there. Oh, I'm missing out! Well, that looks like Shovel Knight, kind of. No, but... Huh. Let's... no. And I like that, that you're able to skip it. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Oh. It's like a monster, like, you know, sitting with his knees, sitting down with his knees upwards and like hugging his own knees. Almost, but not really. No, 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 wait, it looks like uh, he's facing the wall and he has his arms behind his back. That's what it looks like. All right. Please take one. An umbrella. Take an umbrella. Sure. <laughs> nice. Look at that. We changed our sprites for once. Oh, we can't. I wanted to, you know, put it over his head. Oh, we can! Nice! We placed the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. <gasps> there it is! Oh! Right, middle, down, down, right. Middle, up, right, middle, down, down, right. Middle, up, right, middle, down, down, right. Middle, up, right, middle, down, down. Middle, up, right, middle, down, down, right. Middle, up, right, middle, middle, down, right. No? The middle, up, right. Oh, I'm so bad at this shit when I'm doing commentary. What did I do wrong? <laughs> Please, show it to me. And it doesn't stop. Huh. Middle upright. Oh, it's a middle down, down right. I'm stupid. Not the middle, middle. Middle down, down right. Yeah, no, I'm stupid. Just take joy in it that you're not the most stupid person in this world because I will always be here. No, maybe not. Middle, up, right, middle, down, down, right. Oh, that makes so A ball? It looks like the one Suns put on the telescope, like the same color. I don't know. Read this first. I want to read about it before I take it. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Sure. You're carrying too many dogs. What in the fuck? Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Okay. You deployed the dog. Oh shit! No! The dog absorbs the artifact. Fucking hacks! You can't use no clip! Residue? Oh, you f you fucking kidding me? Shiny tray left behind by a dog. Drop that shit! Or use it. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog residue. Oh. Was thrown away. What happens if we use it? All right. I first thought it was like replacing all of my items with it. So I was kind of angry that I would lose my nice cream, but I didn't! On the ground like the piece of trash it is. Fucking dog. What was the point of that? All right. Let's go to another save point, and I will... 
Nice. And I will save this fucking game and take another one. I'm gonna beat this that fucking dog with this umbrella. Mark my words. Very nice looking. I like this very much. And there you are. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. I didn't. You're not even under it. Fuck's sake, boy. <laughs> he got stuck. No! Oh, he turns around the same time as I do. No, never mind. He's very good at synchronizing my walks. Man, and then so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. Uh, can you, like, go away? I don't need your shit. I need a save point. Oh. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of the flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school. And teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo! How cool would it be if Undyne came to school? You could beat up all the teachers. Yeah. She could. Up. Oh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. You seem to know a lot about her. And look at that. Ah. Uh. Can I do something? Can I? Oh, there we go. Wow, this is... Oh, this is so good looking. I look like a lamp with, you know... What is he? He's looking at the castle, maybe. It looks like Spike. Something shit is about to happen. Oh, okay, this was really cool. Take your own umbrella, you fucking shit. Uh, no. Maybe I can't climb with it. Yep, the sledge is way too steep. Wanna see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Right, right. I want a save point, please. Uh, nice. Can I go back? Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Yeah, of course. Like that stupid dog with the no clip shit. Now I can't go back. We're so fucked. There it is. My beauty. Oh, what's this? Are we... What's the deal with this? Okay. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. Aha, uh -huh, so that was the reason. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Hmm. Yeah, it said that... Uh, no, wait, the game began with, you know, human and monsters and um, a war. But they never said why the war started. So now we kind of know. The serene sound of a distant music box. Fuck off. Let's save here. Alright, um, thank you all very, very much for watching as usual. Um, yeah? I don't really know what to say. I feel like these episodes are getting more and more... Um, non crimsy I mean, they're getting more and more stale. And I don't know what to say. I, I, I think it's that this game is getting to me. Um, emotionally. So, yeah, no, it's not so super duper easy to make I I incredible, amazing, fun commentary. But hey, uh, that's not the total point of this series. It is for me to, you know, experience it. And for people out there who both have and have not experienced it. Like Derpy. So, yeah, thank you all once again. I love you and uh, see you in the next part.